hero. Hi, my name is Jeff Purvis. I am a Shodan at Maston School of Martial Arts. Um, Sensei Maston asked us if we would mind sharing a little bit about ourselves, about our journey in martial arts, um, and then to demonstrate a technique or a kata that is particularly important to us. My particular journey in martial arts uh, has been a non-traditional one. Um, I didn't get started until I was 36. Um, I had initially gone into a dojo in Lebanon, Ohio to start taking their kickboxing classes because I was extremely overweight. I was close to 370 pounds at the time and wanted to get fit, wanted to lose some weight. So I started with kickboxing. Before the kickboxing class, there was a kid's karate class. And I would always get there early to watch the class and started becoming intrigued by the stuff that they were working on. Became kind of fascinated by it, I guess. Um, when kickboxing was over one night, approached the instructor and asked about maybe sitting in on a karate class for the adults. He said, sure. He was very happy to have me and give it a shot. Within a couple of weeks, I was then taking kickboxing and I had started my karate journey. Um, my journey began there at Lebanon Martial Arts under Sensei Mark Worley and Sensei Steve Duff. And I was there for right about three years, um, during which time I loved the challenge it presented. I was not in the best physical shape or anything like that, and a lot of the classes would really wear me out. But I kept getting up, and I kept coming back. And I realized that I wasn't, well, as things progressed, I realized that I wasn't as much attracted to the idea of, ooh, look, show me how to fight. Or, ooh, look, show me how to do this. I became more attracted to the philosophy, to the history, to the lineage, and as much as I could. And Sensei Worley and Sensei Duff were amazing teachers in that respect. I'll never forget my first three years because... When you go to any good dojo, you're not just going to a school. You're going to a place where you essentially become part of a family. Lebanon Martial Arts was my first exposure to that family. After three years, a few things had come up. I found myself needing to find a new place to train. And through a few folks that I had met, I was directed to a little dojo in Silverton and was told to go in and ask for Scott Maston. So I show up at the Maston Dojo one evening in mid-2016 and ask, you know, hey, I would like to come to your school, or at least try to check your school out. I'd been training for two years, blah, blah, blah. Trying to put on an air of confidence and all for myself, but to be honest, I was scared to death because in my 40s and I'm, you know, a relative newbie at all this. And then to make the matters even a little bit more uncomfortable, like I mentioned with the dojo being a family, you know, here I am coming in, trying to basically join a new karate family. <sighs> Needless to say, things worked out real well. 
I've been at the Maston Dojo now for about three years. Um, I can't begin to describe how much I feel like I've grown. Um, Sensei Scott Maston, Sensei Caitlin Maston, um, Miss Kayla Maston, Miss Patricia, um, Sensei Zach Parr, when he was still at the Maston Dojo. In various ways, all of you guys have helped, not just myself, I think everybody who walks through the doors of the Maston Dojo help make them feel welcome and help make them feel like they're part of that dojo family. Since that time, as I said, I've definitely grown, not just as a martial artist, I think I've grown as an individual. The lessons and all that I take away from karate go well beyond just physical techniques. Learn new ways to address my own struggles. They've helped me learn different ways of just centering, different ways of basically living a, a healthier and a better life. So that is the start of my journey, but my journey is continuing and I don't see myself letting go of that anytime in the near future. When I was asked to perform a specific technique or a specific kata, um, I decided to go with Gojo Shiho, um, one of the black belt kata from Atsubayashi Room. Uh, it's become a favorite of mine. I can't quite put my finger on why specifically. I've just always enjoyed the movements to it. I felt that they came comparatively you know, easier to me than some of the other katas. And I had made myself a goal for 2020 that I wanted to improve that kata, that I wanted to work on that kata. Um, last month, I actually performed the kata as part of the competition at the Arnold Classic in Columbus. Um, I felt that I did pretty well with it. Um, it's definitely one I'm going to continue to work on, but it is one that I do also feel proud of and confident in. So for those watching, for your review, this is Gojo Shiho, which means 54 steps. Gojo Shiho. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 